Hi, I'm Stacey Daniels, performance coach at the IMG Performance Institute in Bradenton, Florida. Today we're going to break down five components of linear, which can help the athlete be able to understand how it is that they're able to move a little bit quicker and what are the components that they need to be able to move faster. This is Jess Bartol with the IMG Soccer Academy. She'll be going to SMU next year. Jess is going to show us three different formal exercises that we can use to be able to help anyone, any athlete of any sport, uh, properly warm up. She's going to look at the quads, which is one. She's going to look at the IT band, which is our second one. And we're going to look at our calves third. It's very, very important when we foam roll, we're looking to kind of separate that connective tissue hitting that myofascial line that exists within the muscle and the lining itself. That'll help to kind of open up the circulation and get better flexibility points. So we're we'll going to take you through four different stretches. First one's going to be an angle lunge, where she's stepping out to the side, kind of reaching up and over, feeling a nice stretch coming through the hips, through the side of the torso. Again, everything is nice control. She's kind of understanding what it is to go through a lunge, what it is to go through a full range of motion through her ankle and through her knees. She'll get to the five, she'll just jog it out. Coming back now, we're gonna go through that movement. Now I'm gonna take her through a full range of motion. She's going through a nice little A skip, elbows driving back, knees up, toes, toes up as well. Second one we're gonna go through is just a heel to butt raise. We're gonna take care of the quads. She's just stepping out, kicking that foot up and back, grabbing that opposite heel. Very, very important that we grab that opposite heel, keep that knee and keep everything in the line. Get nice and big, push off that toe. Coming back, we're just gonna go through a butt kicker. Again, same exact thing, posture lines nice and big. Elbows back, heels come to her butt. She's looking at reacting off the ground nice and quick. Next one, she's just gonna go through inverted toe touch. She's just stepping out, nice little balance. She's just gonna reach down to the floor, stretch out the hamstrings, upper hamstrings, the glutes. She'll get to that five, she'll just jog it out. Coming back, we're gonna go through a straight leg linear bound. Toes up, arms relaxed, just pulling into the ground. Just allowing the hamstrings to be able to feel, feel a little force into the ground. Kind of helps to be able to slow the body down. Last one, we're going to hit the sides and the groins. She's going to go through a lateral lunge into a drop step lunge. Kind of just sitting on the outside of that heel, keeping that chest up. It's still going to be a squatting pattern. She's just moving through a different range of motion. Reaching behind, hit that drop step lunge. She'll get to the five again. She'll just jog it out. Coming back, last movement, she's just going to go through a karaoke, just getting some rotation of her hips and her torso. Nice relaxed on the ground. She's going to go back again, hit the other side. Her feet are just reacting very, very quick off the ground. Good, good job, and then jog it back. So very, very important, we hit, again, just the big, large muscle groups and hit it with a movement in between, which gradually increases so that her body kind of gets nice and warm and she's ready for the next movement, which is going to be um, our linear mechanics.